Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I have an awesome recipe for you today during my Cinco de Mayo week. I'm making chicken chili rellenos in a cheese sauce with a little bit of salsa. And I took a lot of shortcuts here because I wanted to make it simple, but I will have all of your ingredients listed below. The next step is to blister the poblano. We want to blister the skin. Um, and if you don't have an open flame like I do here, you can always use your broiler. Just put them on a, a cookie sheet and then just put them in the oven and blister all of the skin off of it. And it'll be really dark. Next, you wanna take it after you do that. You wanna put it in either plastic bag or a bowl and you wanna cover it and let it sit for about 10 minutes. It'll make the skin easy to remove. So next, I'm gonna make my filling. Um, I cut up my vegetables and now I'm just gonna saute them in a skillet with some oil, some olive oil, and then add all my spices. And then I'm gonna add my chicken back in and the cilantro and set it aside. So now that the poblano peppers have steamed, I have now just scraping off the skin off the outer edge and it gets really messy, you guys. So I'm just giving you a quick, quick overview, but what I do after a while, I just rinse them off just to get them cleaner and get all that char off of the poblano peppers. And I'll show you what that looks like shortly. Next, after I get all of that off, I rinse them off and then I pat them dry, you guys. Um, and this is my method of what I do to prepare my stuffed poblanos. Next, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna de-seed them. So I'm gonna do a light cut. You have to be careful not to go all the way through, but I, I cut a little slit on the side and uh, not all the way down because you gotta have the, the room so that your filling will stay in the inside. I cut a little bit of the seed part at the top and I get out all of the seeds. Then I cover them with a little bit of flour on the outside. Next, I've added in all of my chicken uh, filling and now I'm adding in some cheese. Now you don't wanna over stuff because it'll all come out later. So now I'm making the nice batter that goes on top of my poblanos because I'm going to fry them. So I have the egg whites and I've added some cream of tartar and now I'm just whisking them up until I, they get to a nice um, medium peak and you'll see what that looks like. So this is what they look like. So I've whisked together in another bowl my egg yolks. So now I'm just gonna add a little bit of egg yolk and I'm gonna fold that into the egg whites. You don't wanna stir because the whole point of having that lift is to, so that it creates a really nice crust around the poblano peppers and your filling. So you don't wanna do all that time to whisk it and then beat them down. So I'm folding it in and I'm fold, alternating between the flour and the egg yolks until it's all combined. You guys, if you have not had a chili relleno, you really wanna try this dish, you know? Open up your palate and try something new, you know? Anyways, if you have not given me a thumbs up, please give me a thumbs up. The next part of this is just to fry it. And you guys, you wanna talk about yum. This is so freaking yum. Um, there is a traditional red sauce that goes with this, but I am using a queso sauce because that's what I want. So anyway, um, I'm taking a poblano pepper and I am covering it in all of this wonderful egg batter. And then I'm going to fry it on all sides. So once you cover it, um, you can, as you see, it holds together even though it's a slit in the middle, the egg batter actually holds it, you know, keeps it together. So anyway, you do wanna flip oil on the top and, you know, and cook the top of the egg. It makes it much easier to flip these peppers as they cook. So I'm not gonna show you the whole process because I'm trying to keep the video down. But anyway, here you go is how I'm turning it around from side to side, making sure I got all of the egg batter um, browned. And I will show you what that looks like in a second. And here you go, you guys. Basically, this is done. I'm going to warm up my cheese sauce and I'm gonna uh, get my salsa out. And here you go, here's the plate, you guys. This is my chicken chili rellenos. And oh my God, is it a treat. Thank you for watching. And as always, I like to say enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Don't forget to click thumbs up and subscribe so that you can get all of my new videos. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.